at just 10 weeks. Hugo Robertson was left struggling to breathe after catching the common virus, RSV. The now 11-week-old and his twin sister Margot picked up the virus from their older brother. Pew, pew. He was really sucking in at his ribs and around his throat and, yeah, it was, it was scary. RSV isn't the only risky virus doing the rounds. Influenza infections have shot up in Australia over the past few months after virtually no transmission during the pandemic lockdowns and border closures. Doctors say they're seeing a worrying number of cases. All the indications are it's still rising. Low immunity to RSV is fueling the rapid spread. It lasts for a period of time and then wanes. And we've taken that waning and we've compounded it by two years of not having these viruses. So even adults are under immune. Adding to the risk to children, Australia's flu vaccination rates are not as high as they could be. In previous years, around 50% of kids got the flu jab. This year, it's just over 20%. It's not too late for your child to get vaccinated against flu. We still have many months of winter to get through. A challenge for an already stretched healthcare system. Which is why doctors want us to return to some of the measures used to stem COVID, such as hand washing, wearing a mask in crowded areas, and staying at home if you're even slightly unwell. We think mild cold, not a big problem. Well, the mild cold for you might be pneumonia for somebody else, might be intensive care management for a young child. The twins' dad, David, wants other parents to watch out for RSV. Don't be afraid to take them to the hospital. It's serious and it can turn very quickly. Both babies are now recovering well. Sophie Scott, ABC News.